I was just making a quick little video to show you how to get the best out of a remarkable um, free application. I say free, um, it's free to install, there's no license codes or anything, but they do ask for a donation and I certainly recommend you give one because I could not live without this uh, app. It's called Better Touch Tool uh, and there's the URL of it um, and it's living up here in my taskbar or menu bar, whatever you like to call it. And if I go into Preferences, um, what we can essentially do is assign far more gestures um, to applications than you get with the default Apple ones. Uh, and this is particularly useful if you've got uh, a trackpad, uh, so you've got a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro or something like that, or you've got the Magic Trackpad, as I have uh, here because I'm using an iMac, uh, but it also works with a Magic Mouse and you can assign different gestures to the two different devices if you've got both of them, if you're very uh, decadent. Um, and as you can see, if I go into Safari, I've assigned a few uh, already. So for example, three-fingered swipe down uh, actually closes the tab I'm currently on, three-finger swipe up, and you'll wonder what on earth that is, but that actually um, gets one password going, so it logs in to the page I'm on if it requires a login. Uh, Three-fingered tap um, basically opens a link uh, in a new window, uh, sorry, in a new tab. Uh, tip tap left goes to my previous tab on my list, and tip tap right goes uh, to the one on the right, uh, strangely, and it shows you you hold down one finger and you tap another finger to the right and vice versa for the left one. Now that's all great, and you probably, uh, if you use Better Touch, you probably found that by yourself, but I'm going to show you something else you can do, which is pretty nifty. Um, so I'm going to use Safari, but this is true of uh, any Cocoa-based app, which is pretty much most of them most people would use. Um, and if I look through my uh, menus here, I've got a few sort of different things I can do, and you notice that all the shortcuts are listed here, so if I wanted to autofill a form, it would be Shift-Command-A. Um, I can assign those to gestures, however, what about the things that don't actually have a shortcut? So here's an example, hide Twitter bar, uh, and let's imagine that's something I really want to do on a regular basis, um, and this Twitter bar is an extension, so it's right here, um, and hiding it literally just hides it, and showing it literally just shows it. Simple as that. Now, the way we do this is we can actually, any um, menu shortcut or anything that does not have a keyboard shortcut, we can actually make one. So what we do is we go into System Preferences, we go to Keyboard, we go to Keyboard Shortcuts, and then we go down here to Application Shortcuts and you'll find that we end up with a plus and minus button. So we're going to click plus to add something. Um, I'm going to say not all applications because if you start uh, putting things that you only do uh, in one application, um, you're going to create a mess as that last sentence I just uttered was. Um, so it's best to keep it stick it just to uh, the one that uh, you're actually going to use it in. So I'm going to scroll all the way down there, I've got rather too many apps here. Um, there we go, Safari. So I'm going to select Safari. Menu title. Now, as it says here, enter the exact name of the menu command. So the menu command I know is hide Oops. Twitter bar. Or was it menu? Oh, darn it. Yeah, bar. There we go. And now I'm lost again. Hide Twitter bar. And I'm going to assign a pretty wacky keyboard shortcut. I'm going to do Command, Alt, Shift, and T for Twitter. There we go. You've got to make sure you, you don't conflict it with something that's already there because then everything's going to go a bit wacky. Um, so I'm going to add that. OK, it is done. And I find when I go back to Safari straight away under the view menu, Hi Twitter bar now has a keyboard shortcut attached to it. Now that is just what we want. So we now move into Better Touch Tool. We go to Safari. We're going to add a new gesture, and I'm going to pick a gesture. And the gesture I'm going to pick, because uh, I'm not actually going to use this one. So let's find. 
or oh, corner click bottom left that will do uh, and then the keyboard shortcut is going to be the one I just assigned which is that I'm going to close that and I'm going to try it out so here is my Twitter bar I'm going to click on the bottom uh, one voila it has vanished um, I'd really like it to come back again whenever so essentially to toggle when I click that bottom left hand side um, now to do this let's have a look so hide Twitter bar command has disappeared and show Twitter bar is available okay so we've got to assign a keyboard shortcut to that now fortunately in uh, uh, Mac OS 10 Apple in their wisdom allow you to do uh, two commands with exactly the same shortcut so I'm just going to how did I duplicate this no uh, it must be here somewhere and basically begins with an S there we go and so the previous one I did was hide this is going to be show Twitter bar and I'm going to assign exactly the same shortcut to that I'm going to go to add and in fact now because it's the same shortcut I don't need to do anything at all uh, in better touch tool uh, I'll just check up here in view that yep show Twitter bar has got the same shortcut assigned so now I'm going to do the bottom left click there it is and now it's gone there it is now it's gone brilliant hours of fun um, so yeah that's just a little video to show you how you can actually use better touch tool in an even better way using uh, some of the tools built into Mac OS 10